The name of this video is Nick of Time because my first name is Nicole, playing on words, Nick. Some people call me Nick for short. Anyways, let's just get to it. I am marveling how God has been showing up for me in the nick of time. Like, right when I'm thinking time has uh, run out, about to run out, he shows up. So last week, I was trying to fulfill an order and one of my products was not available. And God told me to order the product. And it would arrive when I needed to deliver the order. So I ordered the product and it said it was going to take 7 to 10 days. The order had to be delivered prior to 7 to 10 days. So like I'm on time crunch. And... um the day of I'm working to fulfill orders, I still don't have this product that I need. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to keep fulfilling my order. And when it's time to deliver it, if I don't have it, then I just don't have it. But I'm going to deliver this and so on. I had to deliver the product at 4 o'clock p.m. FedEx arrives at my doorstep at 1 p.m. with the product. Only thing is, the location of where they sent the product to, I was not at that home office. I was at a different home office. So I made up in my mind that I needed to be leaving the Lux home office at like 3.15 to get to my destination. So that meant that I had to leave a little bit earlier to get to the dream office to get um, the product, but I got there on time, was able to fulfill my product to my specifications. Um, the client would not have known that this particular item was missing. I would have known, and I always want to do something to the best of my ability. And that's just one instant of God coming through at the nick of time one time, he said I would have it when I needed it, and I did. I wasn't rushed, I wasn't frazzled, and it was just, it worked how it was supposed to work. Um, now, today, I needed some crates for the Legacy Home Office, and so I thought I had crates at the Dream Home Office. So I go to Dream Home Office and I'm looking for crates. I don't have any. And then um, God brought it back to my remembrance that I had just seen some crates at the local um, Speedway gas station. And to go there and to ask them for the crates and even offer to pay if I, if, if I needed to, if need be. So... I pull up at the speedway and I'm like, man, I don't want to go in here and have to ask these people for these crates. So I saw them in front of the door like I'd seen them a couple days ago. And so <laughs> weird, I thought, why don't you just snatch them up, put them in the car and keep going? I know that wasn't God speaking to me, but that was my flesh because I didn't want to go in there and ask them for the crates. So I came to my senses and was like, now, you know, you would have a crazy fit if somebody came on your property and took something that belonged to you. So I go in and um, I asked the manager, I said, um, I saw some crates outside. Can I have two of them? And she said, no. And then I said, I'd be willing to pay for them. And she said, no, 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 no. It's not like that. Um, I got some in the back. Come with me. And so she handed me the two crates. 
Um, and I said, oh my goodness, God is so amazing. And she said, yes, he is. And I said, well, do I, you know, I offered again to pay. She said, no, no. She walked me to my car and put these crates in my car. I was so amazed because I was so frazzled about not having the crates and how I was going to obtain these crates. And so it reminded me of the scripture, you have not because you ask not. And so because she blessed me and didn't even have to, she didn't have to go in her back and give me anything. She could have said no. And I mean, what could I have done? It was their property. But she even walked me to my car with the crates. So I asked her if she likes candles because I make handmade candles. And she said, I love them. And so I asked her what time she got off because I was going to go to the Lux home office, grab a candle and bring it back to her. And so she told me around either 12 or 1. And I told her I'd make sure she get the candle. She told some other ladies that I make candles as she was walking off. And they began to inquire about my candles. And I told them about it. And I look in my um, work bag and I have a milk and cereal um, handmade candle. And so I'm able to share with these ladies. They're able to smell the candle and everything. And I'm able to share my business with them. And they were so, so nice. That People don't have to be nice to you. My great grandma said that people don't have to be nice to you. And so when people are nice to you, you should appreciate it, which is why when she gifted me with these crates, I wanted to gift her back um, because she didn't have to. And so I gave her the milk and cereal candle and nick of time, nick of time. She was getting, because she also shared with me that she was getting ready to toss the crates out. She didn't know what she was going to do with them. And then I showed up. And so, nick of time, but being obedient to what God tells you to do always works on your behalf. I didn't want to go in there. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I didn't want to go in there and ask for the crates. At one point, I was even thinking, man, can I order these crates from Amazon? But what if I would have did that and missed out on my blessing? missed out on, and, and you might be thinking, oh, this is such a small thing, but it's not. Missed out on my blessing. She blessed me, and then I was in turn able to bless her with something. I was able to meet some people who I would not have met if I was at the Lux home office on the computer or on my phone ordering from Amazon. I would have missed an opportunity. And I'm not saying that they're going to buy the candles or what have you, but I would have missed an opportunity to share with these ladies. I would have missed that human exchange of kindness. <coughs> Excuse me. So I just want to share with you two points from this. God always shows up in the nick of time. And obedience is always going to work out for you and benefit you. You all have an awesomely amazing day.